Here we are with the T-Mobile G1 with Rutgers 15. We're doing a review on the T-Mobile G1 with Cupcake. This is a new, it says Android now instead of the, the Android robot. So we'll just wait until that boots up and then we'll be ready, we'll be ready to go. Alright, as you can see, it's ready to go. Okay. And here we are. with cupcake um, one of the one of the anticipated update um, things on the on this update is the touchscreen keyboard as you can see there it is and then types. Well, now you don't need that, so. Let's go around my home screen. I have messaging. Oh, there's a new text message. That's what I have. And then here we have toggle switches, which is really useful, actually. For me, it's a must-have. Toggle, see. Toggles and everything. And then, now you can download widgets. As here, we have a playlist music widget and then we have two. and then when you click on it it takes you to the music and then also there is this that's just to toggle the like if you want to vibrate silent or ringer and then that is the wireless if you want to toggle it on or off market messaging and I don't have nothing on this screen but now I'll show you some widgets that I have widgets I have audio manager which is like you click on it and then it man like you could mess around with how how loud or anything it is. Here we have retro clock, retro date. It's like you know gives you the clock and then the other one gives you the date. Which is actually pretty cool. And then we have new folders. You can also put you can put a contacts folder, contacts with phone numbers or start contacts. So that's it. And then the new feature is Wait until that loads up. Well, as you can see, nice camera. But. Well, you can't see really that good, but it says switch to video. Just put that over. And then this is the video. And then once you press this, as you can see, it's video recording right now. And then, well, I'm in a dark area right now, so that might be. So then you go here, and you go play. Alright, and that's enough. And to prove even more that I have the update, I'm going to go to settings, about phone, and it says firmware version 1.5, build number CRB43, 
and then assist the tutorial and all that. You have more stuff to mess around with. And um, let's see what else. There is landscape mode for everything now. So say you go to messaging. It, nah, it auto rotates. So just do whatever. And to show you another cool part about it is let me see if I can get this all right. When you're gonna write something, say I'm gonna write aren't. You see closely, it gives you uh, it gives you words that you might type or might not. So that's another feature. And you could you could also all right. Let me go to gallery. Now it's not called pictures, it's called gallery because it holds pictures and um, videos. Oh. So you go to camera videos. This is my boy Jonathan skateboarding. Just. But now you could. back because you can't do it while you're in the video but if you hold it once you share you can share with the email gmail messaging or youtube you can upload it straight from here to youtube which is the cool part about it oops press two buttons at the same time all right another cool part is the calls have changed Say like call interface has changed. Favorites say if you have favorites, you could uh, see your contacts. And um, <sighs> let me think about if there's anything else. There's pretty much touchscreen keyboard for everything. Let um auto rotate for every app and. I didn't wait for my update. I updated mine manually. Just you can just find it on Google if you want to do it by yourself. And um, oh yeah, the browser icon has changed. Amazon MP3 icon has changed. There's a camcorder. No, there's a G Talk now. Google Talk. Everything has changed. You could have weather widgets, news widgets, clock widgets, anything. Just like an A home or whatever that is. I'll just show you another cool widget that I have. Um, see, audio manager. Just put that right there, click it. And then you can mess around with your volume settings. And also another cool thing about this, I'm going to show you around the, fo the folders that they have now. See, if you go to contacts with phone numbers, you can add phones, and then there's everybody's phone numbers. And then you click it, you touch one, and then it shows you if you want to call or text. It has there's smoother scrolling now uh, for the internet. And for people who have been waiting for me to do this video, now I have done it. As last week, I already updated, uploaded a video from my phone to YouTube, testing out the video recording on it. So, I guess that's it for now. Let me just end this with uh,
cause the best thing in the world.